Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today we will see how and when you can use GML Visual Drag and Draw block, which is called the Sign Variable. Variables are some kind of containers for your game. Um, in most of the game engines are called that way. And uh, you can store different information in it, numbers, uh, text, strings, um, objects, instances and so on, it depends on uh, what you need and uh, how those variables are defined in uh, game engine and um, sometimes those variables are all already created for you for easier uh, uh, work in a game engine and we have used those pre-made uh, var variables so far like uh, set uh, like speed variable uh, which was created for us already uh, di direction and so on and we have learned uh, that there are uh, lots of those uh, with um, score uh, lives uh, health and so on and even we have learned that when you use this set instance variable um, those pre-made uh, variables are uh, coordinates, uh, direction, speed, uh, visible and so on which are made already for us uh, because those are often used and you will want to change them a lot in your games and um, that's all cool but what happens when you want to use some kind of uh, information which is not uh, and define and use information which is not already here in this list uh, some kind of information which is not already defined by game maker programmers for us so for example we have used zombie in our game so if i want to say okay my zombie should have also some kind of health because player can shoot him and he will lose health sometimes if he loses too much health he can die and uh, disappear from the screen but sometimes uh, he will be just wounded and keep on attacking or maybe if he is wounded he can run away uh, and so on so I cannot do that with the already mentioned um, instance variable because uh, those uh, are used mostly for my player like uh, if I use lives and health for my player I cannot use the same information for my enemy or if I have uh, five different enemy types and so on so I will have to de define them on my own uh, which is uh, relatively easy you only have to uh, be careful uh, about naming and uh, when and where did you create uh, variables but it is it is easy as drag and dropping this one assign variable and like this and you have option to name a variable and to put the value for it so for example I will call this one zombie health and I will put value uh, 100 may, maybe 50 maybe 100 is too much and relative means that you can add or subtract values to this one when you use this assign variable again later maybe in some kind of condition or step event and for the most of the variables first you want to define them in create event that's like um, that's called uh, sometimes initializing the values initializing the variables because you define them and you want them to uh, be defined on the start it's like uh, giving a birth to a child or uh, some uh, creature and define uh, what kind of type that creature is how many health what's his name and so on so i can uh, also add a different i don't have to I can uh, click and drag to make a couple of those, delete them, but I can also use this plus sign, some uh, blocks have this plus sign, 
and if you click it it will just add more name variable value pairs or delete them like this so i can add five or ten or so so i can make for example zombie health uh, zombie uh, ammo if he uh, has some kind of uh, or maybe mana like uh, yeah, i don't know i'm just making things up uh, just to show you that you can use different and um, later you can reference these variables and make um, conditions and uh, choices uh, based on them and uh, reactions uh, we will use that in uh, maybe um, some of next videos i will try to keep these as short as possible but um, again think about some more complex games even though my example here is very very simple but for example if you have a if you are making some kind of rpg game so you have a, like a health a mana a strength a magic levels a, some kind of skills you all have to define them here with uh, variables and give them some kind of values any values can be numbers or uh, for example some kind of text like uh, here um, like for example I can name uh, make a variable which will be called uh, uh, I don't know enemy type for example if you have a uh, uh, different enemies like zombies, uh, bats, vampires and so on so I can make enemy type zombie and use it as uh, sorry as um, you have to use uh, those quotes and type string text in it so you can have a uh, number st strings and so on so um, just a simple example so far but again it's all about um, how big your game is and how many objects you have so uh, uh, this for example egg egg object i can also make variables for it and so on so um, we will use that in uh, later uh, for later uh, game development but this is very very important concept and uh, one of the basic ones uh, there are different types of variables you can see that, that here a uh, global um, temp, temp, uh, temp uh, which is um, uh, not persistent you can use it only um, and throw it away we'll learn that later and so on and we will learn these if variable if expression and so on soon because those are as i just said uh, basics but very very important and you will use them a lot thanks for watching and see you soon